I've come a little way along, found the odd signal, aluminum, iron. Then I went up to the top to check quite quiet. Over there, I found this fork, and it's got something on the back there. It's probably uh, silver coated nickel or something like that. Any case, over there, quite shallow as you can see from the hole there, our first coin. An Irish decimal 50p, that's all that's shaped like that. Or the UK, yeah, that's an Irish decimal 50p. You can see the up there, can you? So that's our first coin. Now, past the shrubbery there, with the there where you can see the towards the the wall, there in that area, that's where I got quite a number of coins. The previous time I was here when it was storming and chased me out, I'll put a little clip in. I'm going to try and record this. I've been here since pitch dark, since uh, just about uh, 5 o'clock. Uh, and I've got a number of coins. Can you see the black here? I've got a number of coins, including in this area behind me. I can't really turn because of the wind. The wind is roaring. It's foaming the surf. It's supposed to be low tide, but it's driven me out of the water to come and check here. Finding signals, but look here. That's that's how, as easy as it gets, isn't it? Lying on top of the... I'm trying to see what this is. Can you see what it is? I can't yet. But I found a few pre-decimals, including a UK Queen Elizabeth Thruppens and an Irish first series. So that's between 28, uh, uh, 1928 and 1937. Sixpence in brilliant condition by the looks of things. So what I will do is add a photo at the end. This could be a Euro coin. I think. Anyway. It's blowing, it's not focusing, it's, my camera is sick. Anyway, that's it, that's it. Enough is enough of what it lo really looked like. Uh, but I'm going to walk this whole channel and we'll see. Take it from there. This could be a very, very productive happy day. It's already a productive happy day because I'm here, for sure. And there's our first bling. Ignore those. This screen like silver, that's for sure. I put it down on the ground there. That's uh, headphones <coughs> that you hear there. So there we go. Our first bling for the day. And may there be much more. I'm getting towards my target area there, past the trees, as I said. That's where I got, I, I must, Easily have got 20 odd, 20 to 25 coins there between this, along this line of the gully and up towards the bank. There were quite a few there, including a 1928 fully silver, no, sorry, fully nickel uh, sixpence, Irish decimal, first year of minting. But I actually want to show you something else. I say to people all the time not to ever swim here barefoot. See that? That's a brass screw. That came out here, but look at that. That was parts of something, and I've taken out quite a few ten pegs already, which I've shown you in the past. Uh, the heavies are being exposed now, so uh, I'm gonna just carry on regardless because it's fun. Well, sun soaker, just as well we find something because it's been pretty, pretty quiet. It's our third bit of bling. The second was a brightly colored medallion. I didn't think I'd need to show you, but with St. Patrick's Day coming up, how apt. It's even still got a bit of green. A pin. So, there we go. Somebody I know is going to wear that on St. Patrick's Day, for sure. No, it's not me. You can see the odd, well, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I haven't gone that way. I'm gonna, I want to go that way to the end. Well, some point and then just check the bank again and then go back in that direction. Can you see? 
uh, but there's a strong screamer 48 I've had a few strong screamers some good coins so I thought I'd get you in here with me uh, and then your choice is as good as mine 48 strong 48 could be well they typically brass pennies big pennies or two pens okay so I feel it it's right there right there so let me get my hands dirty not that I wanted to because then they stay cold but there we go 2p as guesstimated I'm sure that's what that is it could be yes UK 2p that's my second UK decimal and I've got the thruppence which may be uh, King George the fifth thruppence but I know it's a thruppence from its edges that was in one of these holes so there we go we have uh, three UK coins so far we only have one Irish des uh, pre decimal the inner chicken's penny and we have a few euro denomination coins and we have some uh, Irish decimal coins no other foreigns apart from the UK's and it's fun so let's see maybe this spot has got much more because at one point I thought where we found the penny way over there other side this pool but over there in that area I thought that was uh, the start of bright things but it was quiet until I found that sun soaker the euro 20 cent piece this area is usually good to me go back in old videos here and you'll see I often feature that tree line there okay I'll pipe up and keep going and there's our fourth bit of bling if you count buttons I've had two already of which I think one is gilded or the base of it is or the back of it is gilded but I'll show you in the wrap-up I've stopped removing ten pegs because my bag is full of ten pegs brass locket looks like it used to be able to operate so I'll try and clean it and see how that comes out the decimals Ooh. but I want to lash along because I've got about an hour left before it's dark and I've got to go home at some point in time so for now I'm going to shut up and I'm going to say thank you for watching stay safe stay free and be happy always 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 happy as a pig in the muck or the pig in the gully here or pigs in the clover anyway I'll find something for an addendum and I've only so far got the four bits of bling um, so if we find anything more I'll let you know right for, from me to you till we meet again till we see again till we talk again bye more or less the same spot uh, as yesterday morning so about 36 hours ago the cut is so much deeper and uh, there isn't much in the line of st storming sea towards me anyway I thought I'll just add that here as I said I would and put the photo from yesterday in here too stay safe free happy 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 as a pig in and be grateful for everything almost everything the light is gone but I need to show you this uh, there's a puddle there something in the puddle it rang 11's in the ground I actually threw it in the puddle to get it clean so I can show you this is quite the nifty bling blinger so there we have a five bling a day a five bling a afternoon well I might still find something between here and there and everywhere and uh, it's cool isn't it how's that for an unplanned addendum there you have it five bling a day whoopee 
don't believe a word you see about the light. It's virtually dark. But we have to record good finds, don't we? There we go. Washington Quarter. Can you see? I don't think it wants to focus. Uh, Eagle back. I can't see squat in this light. There you can see it. Can you see it? Yes, look at that. And of course, there we go. So, there's for the one of the little darlings money boxes on the other side of the pond. Hmm, there we go. And then last but not least, you can see there's a, our two buttons, special mention. Uh, you can see the gilding. Can you see the gilding on there? That definitely, definitely looks to me like a gilded coin. It was a gilded coin once upon a day. I can't really see anything on the other side. Uh, could you? Can you see the outlines of something there? I don't know. So there's our gilded. So this is the order of the blingers. I'm sure that's silver uh, earring. Then this uh, religious medallion, which I'm not mad about these things. Then we have our little shamrock pin. We have our little bronze brassy uh, locket. A cute little thing. I'll try and give it a bit of a clean up. And then we have the gecko lizard, whatever you want to call it. This is nifty. It's a cutout, as you can see there. Uh, my good lady said not for her, she won't wear it. So, somewhere along the line in a giveaway, at a future point, I may include that in the giveaway. This I might just melt down for a reason. If not, why not? That could maybe fall in the bin because it's shot. That will never fall in the bin, nor will that. Okay, so that's it. I do thank you for watching this lot. 50 odd coins, the other bits and pieces, the interesting fork, and then five blingers. So that's why, hence, this uh, wrap up video is called Five Blingers and More Bits and Pieces. Right, thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay safe, stay free, and be happy.